Hello. You clicked. Welcome. We're going to assume you're a guitar player. We're going to also assume that as a normal human being, you like the sound of a mid-60s black panel Fender amp, like a deluxe reverb, like 1965. We're going to also assume that you like to put a tube screamer in front of that. That is a classic combination. Now, we're going to have a hypothesis here, and we're going to think that you don't want an amp or a tube screamer. You just want an electric guitar and one pedal. <laughs> Worry not, I've got you. What is up YouTube? My name is Buddy Blues and today it is Small Business Tuesday, which is my favorite part of the day, but on a Friday because people, uh, they have asked me to release this on December 10th, and I abide, okay? <laughs> okay. Crazy Tube Circuits is in Athens, Greece. Kalispera, we're back to Greece, people. The Greeks are the future. And they've just released a classic combination of a mid-60s Fender black panel amp and a Tube Screamer in one. But it's not a regular Tube Screamer, it's got mods, it's not a regular amp, it's got mods, oh my god, it's so smart. Let's talk about this. Christos is the owner and chief designer of Crazy Tube Circuits in Athens, Greece, and he has always loved this sound. So have you, and so have I, and so has everybody. He's SRV and John Mayer and everybody. Joan. I don't know why I said Joan Mayer. Joan of Arc. So what is this thing? It's very smart. It's very cool. It sounds incredible. Let me tell you what we've got. This side, right here, is the amp side of the pedal. We've got a volume, we've got a gain, we've got bass, mid, treble. So you've got EQ on this just like the amp. You have a high headroom and a low headroom. High headroom is supposed to emulate four 6L6s. 6L6s, yes. And the low headroom, uh, solid state rectifier, blah, 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 on the high. Uh, the low is supposed to, low headroom is supposed to emulate the two 6L6 with like a tube rectifier with a bit of sag. <laughs> and there's a switch here that says B on off. What that is, is a bright switch, just like the amps. Moving on to the Tube Screamer side. Okay. So we have your classic Tube Screamer stuff. Volume, gain, tone. You know what volume does, you know what gain does, and you know what tone does. You've got a symmetrical or an asymmetrical clipping uh, switch, which allows you to choose, okay? They give you uh, choices, freedom. It's not only in America, it's in Greece as well. And there's also a switch here that says G more, which is more gain. So that's the main mod of that tube skimmer. Because a lot of times with those tube skimmers, you want a little bit more, or you look down and you find that your gain is completely yeeted on, on, on the tube skimmer because you want a little bit more gain. That does it. On the back, we have, ah, surprise. <laughs> you are surprised. Now you're wondering, why is there four? inputs or outputs or what is this? What is this? That is the question that you ask yourself. I'm here to answer these questions, okay? This is your input. This is your output. This pedal has a passive effects loop. So assume this is on a pedal board. Guitar goes in. Now from here, your effects loop, you can have another overdrive, uh, modulation, uh, uh, univibe, whatever you want. In between your overdrive and the amp, all of that goes in between, and then you're out, and that, that's it. So you could run this with a two note cab MX Captor X, that's what it's called, the two note Captor X, which is like a speaker emulator, stuff like that. So you don't really need an amp. I'm gonna be playing it through the amp today on, on the manual. They said that you can play it with an amp, or you would need a Captor X type thing. Uh, with the speaker simulation. So that's it, that's a whole rig with the with the effects loop. You can put anything in between. Come on, people, okay? And, and it's not like this is powered by some uh, nuclear reactor. No, people, it's just regular nine volt, okay? Okay. Stop arguing with me. So let's hear this. I'm going to play single codes. But what does it sound like with humbuckers? I don't know, okay? <laughs> I'm kind of going for the SRV John Mayer sound here. So maybe later on I'll do a short with humbuckers, but I want to focus on the single coast today, so I'll play my LSL. 
Satikoi, and we're gonna go to Defender Supersonic 22, Oxbox. Let's get to it.
Ladies and gentlemen, you have now heard the crossfire from crazy tube circuits from Athens, Greece. What do you think? Don't you love how it goes from crystal clear, that glassy fender cleans on that on the amp side, and the tube screamer just gives it that punch and pushes the amp, and then that pushes your amp? But, uh, inception, okay, Ampception. If this is your first Small Business Tuesday, welcome. Do consider subscribing. People, the subscriber count keeps going up and up, and that brings joy to my heart. I'm also on Instagram, I'm pretty much everywhere. I'm just on Instagram and YouTube. <laughs> As always, it's always a pleasure to show you these small businesses, give you new ideas, so that you can see what's going on in the world of guitaring. All right, I have been Buddy Blues, you have been the people of the blues. Until next time, thank you for watching.